Hey guys, it's Jessie. Welcome back to my channel and today I have a book review for you guys. It is one that I finished a little bit ago, um, but it's kind of taken me a while to get this video going. It took me a little bit to also kind of process my thoughts and opinions on it. It's one that came so highly recommended. Everybody just seemed to really love it, so I felt like when I finished the book and I wasn't quite as in love with it. I don't know if it was just overhyped or the book just wasn't for me or the mood that I was in, um, but I still thought it was really good, just not like over the top wow for me. So that book was Where'd You Go Bernadette by Maria Semple and like I said, I did enjoy this. It just wasn't exactly, I guess, what I was hoping or looking for. So if you guys don't know anything about this book, it is about this girl named B and her mom Bernadette, you know, kind of suddenly goes missing. Um, some things are definitely leading up to this point that kind of push her over the edge. You get a lot of backstory, you kind of see why she's at this breaking point. So it deals a little bit with some like mental illnesses and whatnot. And B sets out on this like grand adventure to basically find her mom and figure out what is happening. So that's kind of the gist in a quick little like sentence or two or whatever. I mean, quick gist of just what this is about. And to kind of move forward, I want to start off by saying what I really liked about the book. And what I really enjoyed was the fact that B and her mother Bernadette had this really cool like relationship where I don't feel like Bernadette treated B like a total kid or, um, you know, like younger than she was or anything. She didn't try to shield or hide a lot of stuff from her. She knew that her daughter likes facts and numbers and things being straightforward, so she didn't try to lie or anything and definitely told B everything that would happen or, you know, just, I just appreciated that. I thought their openness was really cool, allowed them to be very close to each other and allow them to open up and not be afraid to say things. And so I just thought that was such a fun thing, you know, and also being able to see that they were like best friends of sorts and being able to just hang out and have a good time. Some of the things they did were a little odd or weird, but I thought that was, you know, just something kind of quirky that added to the characters. Then I felt like the art and the architecture, the like culture of Seattle, all of that was done so nicely. I've only been there once, but I felt like it really did a good job kind of describing everything about it. Um, I've also been told from people who live in Seattle that this was a total like perfect representation of everything and that it just definitely just like summed it all up so perfectly, true to life and everything. So I thought that was really cool that um, I almost feel like it started taking on a lot of the story is starting to see, you know, what these people do, how they dress, what they drive, like basically just kind of putting everybody into like a box, which is not really what you want to do in society normally, but I feel like it just pegged the city so right that this collective group of people were, you know, all that similar and so they did fit into the same box. So I thought that was really cool to kind of see the descriptions, the architecture, the different art, all of that stuff. Um, I love traveling and I would definitely go back up to Seattle and explore a lot more because we did not even cover, you know, a quarter of what we had wanted to originally. So I definitely appreciated that. The other things, like I was kind of saying, it covers a lot of different topics with mental illness. B and her like being a teenager and she was definitely, you know, I don't know if you would want to say she's a total genius or just extremely intelligent, but she definitely is like wise beyond her years. And so kind of touching on basis of that and still treating her like a normal kid, allowing her to make decisions and to figure out if she wants to go to boarding school or regular school and realizing that even though she's gifted doesn't mean that she has to be pushed, you know, through these um, like boarding schools or Ivy Leagues or anything like that, just allowing her to choose what she wants to do and her happiness and whatnot. So I thought that was all really cool. Um, the other thing that I really liked was the fact that all, pretty much all of this was written or like told through letters and notes and emails, different kinds of correspondence help tell the story. And it's from multiple points of views. It's from neighbors, it's from the husband, it's from um, like FBI, it's from the, I mean, so many different people give in certain perspectives. And so I feel like you have a lot of unreliable narrators at this point because everybody's kind of guessing as to where Bernadette went or they're creating conclusions based on like half of it or, you know, whatever. So I feel like you're constantly trying to piece together this puzzle. It was so much fun. And then, of course, on top of these correspondences, there's always like a little blip of 
from B's perspective, which I really liked. And again, getting to watch them go on this like grand adventure in search of Bernadette. Her and her dad get a little bit closer, which was cool to see because they had started to drift apart during the whole disappearance of Bernadette. And just the humor and the adventure and the travel kind of aspects of this, I just thought was such a lovely touch to kind of wrap this whole thing together and give it like another element. And I just really loved it. So I guess the only big like hang up I had was the ending. It was not at all what I expected. It wasn't really what I was hoping for. I definitely think it could have been like extended and kind of gone further in depth and just added a little bit more because I felt like everything happened so quickly right at the end that I didn't have time to really enjoy what the whole, I mean, it spent like literally the whole book building up to it and then in a chapter or two it seemed like it just closed it out. And so I felt like I really wanted more, wanted to get more from everybody's perspective on everything that just happened up until that point because I feel like, you know, like I said, we have all these unreliable narrators and I just wanted to see more closure for everybody's like story and what they thought and felt about it once the ending happened, so I just feel like it wasn't exactly what I was hoping for, so it let me down just a little bit, but like I said, it was super humorous, it's got this adventure and travel, and the unreliable narrators was fun, the different email correspondence kind of ways of storytelling was really neat, loved it, definitely would read more books like that, so if you know of a book that is like that, definitely comment below and let me know so I can pick that up, because I really enjoyed that aspect of this. Um, so overall, I ended up giving this a four star. I think it is still a great read. I definitely recommend that you guys give it a try because so many people just love it. And yeah, so that's kind of my like thoughts and opinions on Where'd You Go Bernadette. I would definitely read this again in the future. It's just, just so funny. It had me laughing out loud constantly. And again, those correspondence things are just probably my favorite thing about this. I just love the way it was told. So very cool writing style. All right, you guys, so hopefully this review you find helpful or interesting and you guys pick it up. If you've already read Where'd You Go, Bernadette, comment below and let me know what you thought of it. If you were on the side that you totally hands down loved it, blew your mind, can't get enough of it, or if you're a little bit more like me where you hoped there was a slightly different ending or, you know, something else, it just didn't live quite up to the hype for you, but still four stars. So definitely I would love to know where you fall on the scale of things for this book. So comment below, let me know, and I will see you guys in the next video. I have another unboxing coming your way. I have more reviews. I've been able to read a ton lately, so there's lots of catching up here on this channel to do. So, yep, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day. Thank you guys so much for all the subscribing and the liking and the commenting and the interactions. I truly appreciate you guys all being here. So thank you again. And like I said, I hope you have a great day. I will see you next time. Bye, you guys.